Hi everyone, it's Elaine. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming for you one of my new favorite recipes that I found from the Skinny-ish Dish, Skillet Pickle Chicken. It has become one of my favorites. Um, stay tuned and we're going to cook it from start to finish. I will list all the ingredients below as well as the link to the Skinny-ish Dish so that you can find the recipe. Um, it's absolutely amazing and if you're on Weight Watchers or if you're not on Weight Watchers, it's delicious either way. My kids love it, my husband loves it, and it's become one of our new favorites. So thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy. Okay, so here are the ingredients that you're gonna need for the skillet pickle chicken from the Skinny-ish Dish. Um, you're gonna start off with a pound and a half of the chicken tenderloins, um, trim any visible fat that you see and you're going to brine it in pickle juice of your choice. I chose this one. Um, you're gonna need pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, vegetable oil, sea salt, oregano, paprika, and olive oil, and flour. I will leave all of the measurements below for each of the ingredients, what you'll need for this dish. So just keep watching and we'll make the skillet pickle chicken. Okay, so the first thing you will have done is brine the chicken in the pickle juice overnight for about eight to 10 hours. The more you brine it, the more pickly it will taste. Um, so this one is the one that's sitting in the brine now. I'm gonna take it out of the bag and put it into an empty bag um, without any of the brine, just pull the chicken out and then I'm gonna add the olive oil and salt to that bag. So I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've drained the brine from the chicken and I have it in a fresh bag. And the first thing I'm gonna add is just about one teaspoon of olive oil. And just about half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm sure any salt will do. I just have regular sea salt. and then you're gonna close this up and just squish it around and then set it to the side while you're mixing up the flour mixture. Okay, and then for the flour mixture, you're gonna start with five tablespoons of flour. Okay, so for the flour mixture that you're going to coat the chicken in, it's going to be a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon garlic powder, one quarter teaspoon onion powder, and one quarter teaspoon oregano. Now I did double this because I do have double the amount of chicken, um, but you're gonna put those measurements all into a bowl and you are going to get that all mixed up. Okay, so now you're gonna take the flour mixture that we just made and you're going to pour it into the chicken from before that we drained and put the olive oil and a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna seal that up really well. And then you're just gonna give it a really good shake until all of the chicken is coated. Okay, so we're gonna start we're gonna preheat our pan and then we're gonna put in the pan to get warmed up two and a half teaspoons of vegetable oil. I have our mixture up here that I'm going to add one piece of chicken at a time and be careful not to crowd the pan so that they cook evenly. All right, so now these are gonna sit for about four minutes um, on the first side. So you're gonna let those cook and we'll turn them over uh, just about in four minutes. Okay, so it's been about four minutes, so I'm gonna turn them over. Okay, so I'm gonna continue cooking these for four more minutes on the other side until they're completely cooked and then I'm gonna take them off the heat and show you what they look like. Okay, so here's the completed chicken. It has a really nice crispy outside and they are two Weight Watcher points for about five ounces of this chicken. Um, I usually just plate it up with some broccoli, some salad, and then I can throw some rice on for the kids. Uh, they love this, they think it's delicious. And I usually throw on a pickle too and they get kind of excited because it's the pickle chicken. Um, okay, so here's the finished dinner. I have five points worth of the skillet pickle chicken, um, a Southwest salad kit that I got from Wegmans and some steamed broccoli. And altogether, this meal is four Weight Watcher points. 
Thanks again for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you try it and if you loved it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below as well. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.